have uh, a yearly fundraiser, a ladies' luncheon, or a ladies' event. And this year we decided to have it at Saks because we thought it'd be fun and exciting just to do something around fashion because that's what most women enjoy. For the Canadian Junior Foundation in the Dare to Dream Camp, and that is to bring underprivileged and at-risk kids to the Dare to Dream Camp. And for eight weeks out of the summer, we bring kids um, for overnight camp, and they just come to enjoy the camp. The foundation was brought about because of the death of our son. He was more into doing things to um, encourage kids to be the best they could be. It's a way that I can help my parents um, and help in the healing of the loss of my brother, and that's how it started out. But then you just get so, you just really realize the needs that are out there. And these kids that really need help. And, you know, a lot of them are really lonely and really searching for someone that cares about them. Other race car drivers, um, you know, they have foundations and they have all this money that people send them because they're at the track every week. You know, we don't have that anymore, you know. So, Kenny's been gone nine years almost. Most of the new fans don't even know Kenny Irwin, you know? So, by Kelly having events, then we're able to keep things going, keep his memory alive, bring kids to camp. We've raised some good money, but at the same time, you know, there still is not a lot of money, and it takes a lot to maintain the camp. And, you know, they are there in the summer doing all the work. My mom's in the kitchen cooking and same with my dad and they do it so they don't have to hire people you know and take up that money that we can you know give toward doing programs or other things for the kids so it's I just I can't believe how much time and effort it takes and they do it. He loved kids. I love kids. He did a lot to help kids. So we felt like that was a way to honor him.